Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of our podcast at the end of the day. And this is a podcast that guides the new immigrants in the US and we bring you new episode every Sunday. Yes. So this is me Deepika and this is me Anush Thapa. So with us today is Renu Sharma Sapkota. Welcome to our show Renu. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Talking a little more about Renu, she is uh, from Nepal. and uh, she came to the US in 2004 back home she uh, was working in the non-profit sector and currently renu you are the director at the logistic company called SNS logistics incorporation yes you have built your own professional career and you are handling three kids at the same time so the focus of our podcast today mm-hmm. is going to be this topic so we want to learn from your experience right. tell us about your beginning days as a mother as a new immigrant i was 30 when i came here mm-hmm. so we moved in here uh, it was very difficult changes are always difficult to accept mm-hmm. and that's a general process right so when I, i came in though i was educated i know everything in nepal but when i came in here huge cultural difference mm-hmm. and it's it it is different because when there is night it's day here right, right? it's right. completely different mm-hmm. so i didn't know how to swipe in um uh, the, the metro, metro card, metro card mm-hmm. how to get it mm-hmm. and then in metro train in new york i got lost so many times <laughs> but i learned after getting lost basically all small small thing which mm-hmm. you might have gone through right. the similarly i have gone through too so how did you bump into this logic stick company so one of my friend told me that uh, the owner of this company is jam mm-hmm. So you go there you will never get disappointed because she worked here before. Okay. And they were in need of uh, new hiring. Mm-hmm. So she sent me there and mm-hmm. I went there and How did you pitch yourself to that to that person when you were there for a job interview? So in job interview he was like what you can do for this company. I mm-hmm. said give me an opportunity then you will see what I can do for this company. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Right. <laughs> So it it is like that's what I'm telling that wherever you go you have to love that job. If you see there is an opportunity and room of growth then you should excel there. And you were handling your two daughters yes. at the same time. Yes. So yes. walk us through that. It was very tough. I had a babysitter who mm-hmm. take care of my girls after school. come back from school then go through all the homeworks with them mm-hmm. cook dinner feed them and then go to bed and again be ready tomorrow morning to drop them school mm-hmm. and then go to work it life was not easy a lot of struggle so sometime you thought why i am here what i am doing here right. why i am wasting my energy so much mm-hmm. why 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 i came here mm-hmm. but again my husband used to console me that no Mm-hmm. we we thought of coming here mm-hmm. it's our choice so we have to struggle with it people who see from outside they might think that okay i'm well settled mm-hmm. right my girls are grown up now we have a home mm-hmm. and we have a nice luxurious car mm-hmm. we are all settled but it's not that still you have to do struggle mm-hmm. right i used to work till 6 pm when needed till 8 pm also mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and my husband used to take care of my kids mm-hmm. so again your partner needs to be very supportive mm-hmm. okay. for your growth my partner is very supportive to me mm-hmm. think about it <laughs> you two are very supportive to each other yeah. uh, thank you yeah. uh that's so interesting thanks for reminding that we are a couple yeah, yeah are we <laughs> <laughs> look at him blushing <laughs> okay okay yeah. let's just carry okay, on you're literally <laughs> blushing okay, okay. <laughs> when you were in the initial days mm-hmm. uh did you have to take any kind of courses i am being a director i didn't had any education from here mm-hmm. i thought that i need certain kind of certification which will help me mm-hmm. to manage my colleagues okay. so that there was a, a short course from rutgers university on supply chain management okay mm-hmm. and i took that course mm-hmm. to groom myself mm. okay My girls are grown up, right? Okay. So even they suggested, "Mom, you go ahead." How old are they now? Th- my older one is 22, mm-hmm. younger one just turned 20. So even they supported me. They mm-hmm. said that, "Mom, you can do this," so which will help you. Another point in our family, we do share each and everything at home. Mm-hmm. So what difficulties we face today, what happened in work, what happened in school, everything we share at home. 
in that way we get ideas from each other what needs to be done mm. to improve Interesting. when when do you get time to share those things yeah. you take out time you do take out time <laughs> so all of you um, all of uh, my husband my mm. girls even my husband whatever difficulties he has in outside he come and share sometime with a very frustrating mood but we do share it's a joint family effort okay you know? So yeah, uh, we're at the end of the podcast. So if you have to ad- uh, give advice to a newly arriving mothers like you uh-huh. in this country, what would you advise them? First of all, I would say every woman that go ahead and do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Never sacrifice your dream for the sake of anyone, okay. right? Mm-hmm. It's your kid. You have given birth. Mm-hmm. I can understand mm-hmm. how attached you are with your kids mm-hmm. but it's equally your partner's responsibility too okay. right mm-hmm. so i would say not only women husband needs to understand mm-hmm. that we both are same okay right mm-hmm. and if a husband has a skill wife has a different kind of skill mm-hmm. if both grow then family will grow right, right? Mm-hmm. so they have to take out time uh, to take care of their kids maybe husband can take care afterwards mm-hmm. and however mm-hmm. but women shouldn't sacrifice i would say mostly what we do as a women we sh- we say that we are not getting our rights mm-hmm. all those thing but being a woman sometimes we laid back mm. okay mm. right yeah, we true. say that oh, it's okay i'm taking mm. care of kids that's okay my mm-hmm. husband is earning mm-hmm. which bothers me a lot mm-hmm. sometimes uh, i have seen so many women they are well qualified well educated but they say oh mm, credit card yeah my husband knows how it is <laughs> you have to know about your credit card true, true. come on right yeah. that's that's what it is like they laid back and then that's why they lose opportunity right. and later on it's like I never got an opportunity to do so because I was taking care of kids, right? It is not easy. Mm-hmm. You are because a working woman is doing much more work than a house mom. Okay. Right? Yeah. Stay home mom. Mm-hmm. Because you go to work, you come back, you take care of your kids and you do set up the home the way a stay home mom does, right? Mm-hmm. Another thing which I have uh, understand so far and experienced that if a working mom uh, children's respect mom a lot mm. okay mm-hmm. a lot mm. they take her as a role model mm. right be it a boy be it a girl they take her as a role model because they can see that mom is working out coming home taking care of us we should be like her okay. mm-hmm. you know so moms never give up right never give up <laughs> try you it it is difficult to take care of uh, kids and working together but it's not uh, it's not impossible as well it is possible on that highly encouraging note it's yeah. time to wrap up but before that we would like to share your email address r e n u dot s a p k o t a at gmail.com thank you so much Renu for yeah. inviting us and sharing your personal experience thank you thank so you. much Renu <laughs> thank you for coming here it's my pleasure thank, <laughs> thank you. you please subscribe to our channel so that we can grow further and we can reach out to so many people and keep supporting us so that we can come up with more of these encouraging episodes for you yeah so time to go bye 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 Hey guys, a quick note. If you have a personal story that you think might be helpful to the newly arriving immigrants in the US, please contact us. We would love to feature you in our podcast. Go to our website podcast@theendoftheday.com and write to us by going to the feedback section. And by the way, if you love this podcast, you can support us with a small donation. Your help will enable us to continue producing more episodes. The link to support our podcast is in the description below.